a good time to start our first tour. Um, first, welcome. My name is Brett LaRose. I'm the Assistant Fire Chief uh, with the Bristol Fire Department. So this is the historic Bristol Fire Station. This facility was built in 1897 by Newcomb Munsell. Uh, he donated this building to the town of Bristol and you know here we are the year 2013 and this building is still in service. <laughs> so, this thing used to be full of holes hanging from here as you can see up there. You look up, come a little closer and look. You can see the two reels. Those reels turn. Somebody goes out to, we climb up the attic, and right above that, right below that light up there, there's a door. You can see it from here. I can see it from here. You climb out there. There's two boards you stand on. <laughs> and you take this rope, tie the hose around like this, and then take it and whoop, up it goes. And then the other guy drops the other end down, and you've got 25 feet. It's a 50-foot light. It hangs right here, and we pull the trap door, and the water goes down to the basement. We don't use it as much now, because now the new hose is all um, vinyl. This is the old alarm box. This right here, when you got in, you had to memorize these, 5225, and you can see them where they were. There were prominent places in town, in the village, or out of, outside the village was a three. And there was 10 fire phones around the village. And 10 firemen would answer the phone and say, oh, uh, there's a fire at Gerald Heffman's house on West Street. OK, I'm headed to the fire station. They reach up here and grab 2-2, OK? It's right here, right here, 2-2. They crank this like that, and she'd start blowing. Uh, uh, that's two longs, then uh, uh, and then pause and then do it again. <laughs> then it would do it again. Somebody would stay on the phone, the, the dispatch, somebody would stay on the phone. And they'd say, it's a Gerald Heffman. He'd write Gerald Heffman right here. West Street, Bristol. And then they'd come down and they'd see it. it used to be ticker tape right here. Two little short dots and then two long ones. This is the heart and soul of, of our department right here. Um, you see, you know, we are steeped in tradition. We have uh, a lot of pictures and uh, uh, just nostalgic items that pay tribute to those that have come before us, whether it be a trophy, that eight-day clock. Uh, I know some people think it's just a pool table, but that's a very special pool table to us. It's been here for, I don't know, how many years has that thing been here? Oh. 75 years. This is our meeting room, our training room. Uh, this is where we eat the first Wednesday of every month when we have our uh, monthly meeting. Uh, this is our uh, officer's office. This is the other office. Uh, you know, if we needed to meet with, uh, you know, one of the firefighters one-on-one -on -one or, you know, for any kind of session, that's where this happens. We did this ceiling about 19, early 80s. They did this ceiling. Uh, put the bell back in. That's what these two ropes are for. <laughs> Somebody said that Wednesday night's uh, open house. Boy, it's, I never realized it was so run down. And I was kind of hurt at first when they said that. I considered it used, not run down. It's still, you want to be here on a windy night. These things will go just like this. The building will just. This is, this is it right here. This is our basement. As you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of posts in here to hold up the trucks. The truck that you saw when I said the very first engine that goes out out back, that will fit on this side. I wouldn't want to be in this cellar when we drove it in. Oh, yeah. The floor joists would begin to go like this and creep. So they put the blocking and then they put this in. That was 84, that was when Bob was manager. That was a stop gap. Okay, you've got to do something. One of them theories, you've got to do something. This building was built in 1972 by the men uh, for $4,000. They built this whole, this building. And the rumor was, well, that'll get us by a few years until we can do something. And then it'll be 40 years. Nobody can get in on the driver's side of this truck unless you, until we open the door and pull out. You can't get in on that side, it's so close over there. This little girl right here couldn't walk between you. Yeah, I never realized it. Just how tight it is. It barely fits this in. And 
They get in, as soon as this driver says, I'm full, he starts pulling out. And this guy's running by him, they're getting dressed right here. Can you imagine somebody getting dressed right here, and that truck is pulling out? <laughs> and I mean, you have the these And that is off. the way it works. And that's just how we have to do it. Yeah. 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 The season starts the end of November. They couldn't come up with the one yeah. to yeah. June. She takes the rest of the TV teams to some of the for a three day weekend. We're saying that there's a need, an upgrade, you know, possible location. If you don't think we're pretty proud of the old station, you've missed the point. <laughs> you can see it's even on the old trucks. All the trucks have it. All the trucks have it. We're pretty proud of it. You know? No. We'd get pretty wet in here, wouldn't it? <laughs> you want to sit in the seats? You can. You want to hop in? It's pretty yeah. fun. Whoa! <laughs> How high off the ground you are. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's my favorite seat, too.